What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a showcase for the brand new super evolution of Magellan. Now remember when this guy first got kind of teased and the data miners kind of actually figured out that this was going to be the next super evolution? I was a little disappointed because I kind of had the, the ideology that it was going to be, you know, focused around Pirate Island Full Lead and it was going to be Gecko Moria, I was really pumped about that, but... That didn't come into fruition and Magellan decided to get a 6 plus and one of the big things about Magellan and his 6 plus and why I wasn't excited for it was because I just didn't feel like they could do enough to make people warrant using him in content but I stand corrected because I think that what they've done with his 6 plus he is probably one of my favorite 6 pluses that they've released this year uh, of course we're not gonna be talking about Pirate Rumble in this video in particular but the buffs that they've given him in Pirate Rumble have actually made this guy really good and and honestly a pretty solid option in Rumble with investments of course he does get a much better Rumble special and a very good Rumble ability but I digress we're not here to talk about the Rumble stuff we're here to talk about what does he do in normal content what what is his point of difference? Why would you go out of your way to use this guy in content compared to some of the other characters that you may have access in your in your character box? So without further ado, let's start discussing it and why he is as good as what he is. So his class and types don't change upon super evolving, so that's fine. It didn't really need to change anyway. His captain ability, when you have max investments, is really solid. He now gives a cooldown reduction to quick characters, which he didn't do previously, which is kind of nice. And then the thing about Magellan is that he mainly focuses on boosting quick units. Now, they didn't really change that that much. He's still a 5.25 times attack boost uh, when you have 70% or more HP. And then he gives 5 times boost otherwise. And then he also gives every other unit 4.5 times attack. So it's really not that much. However, things do change once you are able to inflict the opponent with some type of venom or poison. So it gives a 1.1 additional or multiplicative uh, attack bonus. So if you get the 5.25 multiplied by 1.1, he does equate out to a 5.775 attack boost to quick units. Now, even if you have a unit that isn't quick, if you inflict an enemy with the poison or the or, po or poison effect, then it ends up being around a five times attack boost to all other characters. So while it's not the greatest, it's just if you run quick units, he does give them a pretty substantial attack bonus. He also grants 1.3 HP. He makes quick and tandem slots matching, reduces 10 turns of paralysis, which I think is kind of underrated, and then heals 25% of damage received when you move on to a new stage. So he's uh, kind of defensive in that mindset there. But then the, the nice thing that they've added in his captain ability and why they make this guy actually usable is it says that allows the crew to apply any type of poison on enemies, ignoring every type of immunities. Now, the reason why this is so good is because the whole point of Magellan is to get the venom and toxic on the opponent's side of the field so that he can get beneficial effects. Obviously, with his captain ability, he does more damage when the enemy is inflicted with a toxic poison, venom, etc. And then his special ability, if you have that effect on an enemy, you get additional effects. And the cool thing is, is when you have a character that enables you to you know, bypass immunities and stuff, typically it says that only specials will work. What Magellan says is any poison inflicted from any effect from a support, from a super type, is allowed to go through immunity, which is massive. So that's huge. Uh, I really hope that they do more of this in the future where captain abilities just say, if you activate like a defense down, it'll always go through immunity for your whole crew. Or if you activate a delay, it always goes through. Stuff like that, I think, really makes this character different compared to a lot of other units in the game which i really really do like now moving on from that his super type uh it goes hand in hand with his kit the problem with his super type is that the condition can be a little annoying because you need to have one of the listed units which is hannibal shiryu domino sadie saldeth boa hancock sengoku sakazuki kuzan borsalino so you've got a decent array of units there like hancock's got a few units the the admirals i think are relatively okay Obviously, the new legend Shiryu is powerhouse focused, Magellan is powerhouse, so they can actually kind of work hand in hand. In terms of the effect that it provides to the crew though, it is actually really good. 
It does remove all forms of poison on your side of the field, which is kind of neat. And then it also applies a poison, a progressive poison, on the enemy side of the field, as you're seeing in this clip right now. So the thing is, though, is that with him as a captain, this effect from the super type goes through full immunities. Now, you do have to keep in mind that if Magellan is despaired and then you activate this super type, it will not go through full immunity because his captain ability will be obviously disabled. So the fact that you can activate this super type, inflict the progressive poison on the enemy side of the field, gives your crew additional damage thanks to Magellan's captain effect, and if you activate his special ability, you obviously get additional abilities from that. And when you activate the super type, it also grants an additional 50% heal when you move on to the next stage, which is, you know, basically a buffed version of his captain effect, and then quick units become super quick. So the super type special, like, in a vacuum, the super type special is pretty bad, but when you put it into context with his captain ability, it does make sense. Um, so I, I really like what they've done with his kit as a whole, and of course we've got to talk about the special ability now. So Magellan special, as we know, it does revolve around if the enemy has a poison of some kind, then you get beneficial effects. So first of which, it does do a 20% health cut that goes through all defensive effects, and then it removes four turns of bind and burn. So that's also pretty neat, um, and of course, he, has, he does have double special launch, as we know, so being able to use his special twice in the same turn to remove eight turns of bind and burn, I think is actually really underrated, and he might actually see quite a lot of play just because of that alone. He also says that if the enemy is inflicted with some type of poison, or they have 10 or more status effects on their side of the field when you launch the special, it will give you a 2.75 times attack boost for all characters on the crew, and a minus 10% quick shooter powerhouse resistance to all enemies for one turn. So that's nice. So not only do you get the attack boost now if they have a poison, but you also can get a, uh, a little bit of a resistance bonus, which is, which is just nice to have, and that lasts for one turn. It then says that if you launch the special, um, it will also give you a 2.75 color affinity for all characters, and it will also apply a progressive poison to all enemies. Now, the thing is, though, is that if you use him as a captain, that progressive poison does go through, through full immunity. The issue is, is if you use him as a crewmate, that effect will not go through full immunity. But of course, it means if you activate the super type first, then you can use the special ability, and then because it will do the check, you've already got the venom inflicted, you'll get all effects. You'll get the attack boost, you'll get the resistance, you'll get the um, the color affinity boost, you'll get the bind and burn removal, which is pretty strong. But the cool thing is, is that if you activate the super type first, and then you use double special launch, it will give you 20% quick shooter and powerhouse resistance instead. So it allows you to get uh, you know, a, little, a little funky with it. So that's pretty dope. I like that he has the, the capability to provide resistance as an additional damage bonus to the crew, and I think is honestly pretty solid overall. So when you think about this character as a whole, um, the, the main thing that I really like about it is that they've made his kit actually work now. When Magellan first came out, the big issue is that, yeah, you know, you get a, additional effects if the enemy is able to be inflicted with a poison, but there are a lot of enemies in the game that have full immunity or poison immunity specifically. So because of that, Magellan just kind of didn't work in a lot of content, and more often than not, if you ever used Magellan, it was likely just for the bind and burn removal, and then getting a color affinity boost. That's basically all he did. So now, the fact that he does have the capabilities to be used as a captain, and being able to activate that effect to inflict the venom through immunity really is a game changer for this character as a whole and he is now usable which is good and especially now that they're introducing the new captain shift mechanic where you could potentially have magellan set as your captain and then later on in the quest you could just switch him out of the captain position with a captain shift we don't know how often or how regular that kind of effect is going to be implemented into the game or how often they're going to release units with a captain shift mechanic um but once they start releasing units that could potentially work with magellan magellan could be an absolute force for some certain squads out there um, the thing is, though, is that I don't see him being used in high damage content, like a Super Boss Kizuna, for example. I just don't think he's a real good fit. He doesn't provide, like, massive damage numbers. Uh, unless if you have some type of ability on the crew that is focused on getting a poisoned conditional boost, 
that's like the only thing I could see him potentially being used for. I will say that the resistance down effects that he's able to provide, I think that's nice because resistance down isn't super common um, in a lot of high damage teams. Typically, you'll get a little bit from a support or like a little bit from some kind of switch effect or something like that. Um, not a lot of teams are focused on applying a ton of resistance down on an opponent. So uh, you could potentially use him on a crew to inflict that venom, you know, and, and get lots of beneficial effects from that and then activate some type of other ability to get him out of the captain position because there's typically going to be better units to be using as a captain. But I think in a lot of other pieces of content, the fact that he does have this ability to inflict that venom through full immunity is going to be pretty nice because you'll be able to use it to, uh, you know, take on, you know, hypothetically, if the enemies have like lots of low HP, high defense mobs, this venom effect from Magellan will just instantly knock them out. Uh, also, you got to remember about the poison effect and how that works is that you can actually use it to get around resilience. Because the way that it works is, is the poison will automatically trigger once you have finished your attack. So your attack is performed, and then it will do ahead, do ahead and do the, the poison check, which will instantly kill them. Unlike if you inflict ignite on the enemy side of the field, what will happen is, as you do your attack, the enemy attacks you, and then it does the ignite. Poison occurs before the enemy attack, which is a big deal. So if you do need to get around resilience, Magellan is going to be fantastic for that type of effect as well. It's just a little bit of a shame because the Magellan Sugarfest exclusives that we have, a lot of them way back in the day would use them for more defensive focuses, like literally just killing an enemy with the progressive poison that stacks over time and basically stalling them out. And while that was a viable strategy back in like, you know, 2016, 17, 18, maybe 19, maybe in today's day and age, it's just, it's not good enough, really. Um, it's, it's just too slow. But, um, you know, it'd be interesting if that kind of strategy ever returns because Magellan being able to inflict that progressive poison through immunity is a pretty big deal. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions about 6 plus Magellan down below in the comment section. Very, very fascinating super evolution that we have with this guy. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, though. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video. Come, Cassandra. 